Panther Nation, what's cracking? Let's talk Robbie Anderson, Stat Predictions 2020. You are now tuned into the Panther Nation podcast. DeLone fires to an open Smith. Steve oh. Smith is going to go all the way. No flag down. Before we dive into stat predictions, let's talk about how Robbie Anderson became a Carolina Panther. Anderson committed to Temple University to play college football for the Temple Isles under Matt Rule. After redshirting his first year in Philadelphia, Anderson saw time on special teams during his redshirt freshman season and practiced primarily as a defensive back. Following Matt Rule's hiring as Temple's head coach, Anderson switched to wide receiver in 2013 and caught 44 passes for 791 receiving yards and 9 touchdowns. In 2013, Anderson set a Temple school record for receiving yards in a game with 239 against SMU. However, Anderson missed the 2014 season due to academic eligibility issues. Anderson spent 2014 taking classes at a community college in Florida. Anderson returned to Temple for a senior season in 2015 and has 70 catches for 939 yards. Despite running a 4-3-6 40-yard dash at Temple's Pro Day, Anderson went undrafted in 2016 draft. On May 1, 2016, the New York Jets signed Anderson to a three-year deal worth $1.63 million. With the Jets, Anderson had a decent career. However, he played under a lot of quarterbacks. The list includes Ryan Fitzpatrick, Bryce Petty, Geno Smith, Josh McCown, Sam Darnold, and Luke Falk. On April 1, 2020, the Carolina Panthers signed Anderson to a two-year, $20 million contract that includes $12 million guaranteed and a signing bonus of $8 million. The signing reunited Anderson with former Temple head coach and recently hired Carolina Panthers head coach Matt Rule and Temple teammates Keith Kirkwood, P.J. Walker, and Colin Thompson. Now, let's take a look at how Robbie Anderson fits with the Carolina Panthers offense. Um, when taking a look at how the number two receiver is generally used in the Saints offense, um, typically, the number two receiver is either a tight end or a running back. And we obviously think that, uh, and we obviously know that McCaffrey is going to be heavily used in our offense. And I can go ahead and tell you that McCaffrey is probably going to end up being our number two receiver uh, from a yardage standpoint. I don't think there's much we can take from Joe Brady's offense with uh, LSU. Um, they had Jamar Chase. They had Justin Jefferson. I just don't think we're going to have a one-two punch like that, and I don't think Teddy Bridgewater is going to throw for 6,000 yards. So I, I don't think we're going to have a one-two punch like that. But I do think Robbie Anderson is going to have a very solid year. Um, I don't think it's going to be as good as people expect. Again, with Christian McCaffrey taking number two receiving yards, um, I think Robbie Anderson is going to slide to third. And with that, that gets me to my official prediction. My official prediction for Robbie Anderson is 625 yards with four touchdowns added. Um, I just don't think there's enough uh, balls to go around, pause. I, I think, um, you know, I, I expect DJ Moore to have a huge year, and I think he's going to get the bulk of the work from a receiver standpoint. And again, Christian McCaffrey is still here. Christian McCaffrey will get a lot of receiving yards, and I think that takes away from, uh, from Robbie Anderson. Um, so I think it'll be a down year from Robbie Anderson's perspective. He typically is in the 700 range. Uh, as far as total receiving yards, he did have as high as 900 receiving yards in his sophomore campaign, but I just don't know if he's going to be able to repeat that in this offense. Again, there's too many mouths to feed, and I think DJ Moore is going to take the bulk of those targets. Again, you look at the Saints offense, there's a Michael Thomas that exists. He gets all the targets in that offense, and I think pl plays will be drawn up for DJ Moore to get open and get a lot of targets. Again, this is no indictment on Robbie Anderson's talent. I think Robbie Anderson is a great receiver. I think he was underutilized with the Jets, and he played with an awful lot of bad quarterbacks. I think Robbie Anderson coming to Carolina is a breath of fresh air for him, um, but I don't think he's going to have a huge season this year. Again, that's my official prediction for Robbie Anderson. Make sure you guys hit your predictions in the comments. I want to see what you guys think. I haven't seen any uh, responses to my prediction uh, in the in, in the comments, so I appreciate if you guys get some feedback. Maybe I'm too high, too low. Uh, you guys let me know. That being said, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.